Hi and welcome to Warframe. This is Hotfix 15.6.3.1. This is kind of a fix for a problem with the Void Trader that is going to be... He's going to come and go and apparently going to sell different things. Why is everybody standing out here? Okay. Now what you're looking for is the Void Trader who... Yep. As you guessed it, there he is, standing on a little platform there. You can't get to it. Ah, there it is. Right. In here, what you're looking for is this. He also seems to sell a Prime EOS chest plate. Yeah. Wow. Okay, they could be useful. actually selling some pretty decent stuff um, crit damage for a shotgun and power duration and it looks like it's max is 55% it's a 14 though that is much bigger than the normal one but we'll ignore them what we're here for today is this the Mara Detron um, as you can coming out of this is a really bad idea but as you can probably guess as is everybody within this game <laughs> everybody has come here because there was a bit of a problem he fell through the floor apparently the thing he's standing on fell through the floor and he went with it so everybody's been waiting for a, fi a hot fix you have the people at the the terminals they're selling stuff so they can come to this guy and buy stuff any prime stuff you have you just come to these terminals and you can sell them most of the time at any point and we'll just sell one and it gives you that currency we have 520 of it now there it is so we'll buy this before he falls through, through again ooh sneak peek she's actually just finished while we're in there so we'll hunt this thing out and equip it. it should pop up under M there it is apparently the skin yeah you can see the fog type thing move and apparently if you hit random it completely ruins the look of the weapon. You could actually make this look just like a normal one. But what we want to do is compare the two. For a weapon that is... It only pops up every now and then. It should be better than the... Okay, everything is exactly the same. But the magazine is bigger. And the fire rate is quicker. That's it. It comes with? No, it comes without a catalyst. That's a bit of a shame. And no polarity. After a little bit of use, the only mods that we actually managed to get in, because we did drop a catalyst into this, was Hornet Strike, Barrel Diffusion, Lethal Torrent, uh, Expel Corpus, because we're taking it against the Corpus. Otherwise, it would be Grenier or, un or Infested if you're fighting against the Grenier or the Infested. And eh, partly leveled up Magnum Force. It's not maxed, but uh, this does have 5 points left. And this literally took the damage from 105 to 1058.4. Just on uh, radiation damage. This was. It made it quite a powerful little weapon, but it still stuff has the same problems that um this these things are really nice with multi shot added. They really are. Uh, the normal Detron that's dropped by I cannot remember the name of it, um begins with an H I think. It's basically like Zanuka. It's com it comes after you if you side with the corpus in infested missions. And I need to find a heat thing before these things kill me. Oh, not that guy again. And it's just, you get it by two parts, the normal one. And it's a huge pain in the butt to actually get a hold of both the parts. Yeah, since they changed mag, that doesn't work as much. It's not as effective as it once was. You need to go away so I can do this. He will kill me fairly quickly. No armor. Damn it. I need the oxium from that guy as well. But yeah, it's 
bit of a pain to get the normal Detron because uh, there's a Nuka that comes after you. It's only got like a is it a 1.5 or a 2.5 percent chance of actually coming after you in certain missions, and it's better to do it as a team of four because the 2.5 stacks so you can have something like five percent chance of them actually coming after you. But you got to do that twice. He comes after you pretty much like the stalker, but he just drops the weapon part, either a barrel or I can't remember what the other part is. <laughs> the stock, I think. But this is definitely a much cheaper way of getting a hold of one, and it does look like it's a better way of getting hold of one as well. And this mission is ridiculous. I have literally spent so long running from point A to point B for no enemies to be there to run. I'm now running all the way back the way I've already come once before. Yay, enemies! What the hell was that? But yeah, uh, getting it this way is much cheaper, and it l actually looks better than oh crap than the normal one as well. With that, um, would be much easier if she would put the gun down. With that moving skin on it, that is uh, pretty hard to actually see most of the time. It's like barely visible. You can kind of see it there. But the, the visual thing is better, um, the increased fire rate is better. For me this is much, much better for the main reason of it has 8 rounds rather than uh, 5. I've actually formatted my normal one to purposely have more rounds in it. Because then if uh, something gets too close that needs a lot of damage, you can have a pretty high damage weapon with eight rounds in it and I'm having a major case of deja vu as we come here oh yay we get to go through this door seriously if that's locked I'm gonna be pissed <laughs> wow really uh, about five minutes running back five minutes coming forward again and now that doors open they've all respawned <laughs> But yeah, this is actually a pretty cheap way of getting hold of the weapon. I know it actually makes it sound like it's more expensive selling all the Prime stuff, but uh, if you've got a lot of it spare, it's a lot less time consuming to do this. And that is why I like the 8 rounds right there. I mean, usually you can take them out with one or two rounds, but then you get the heavy guys coming in and the multi-shot comes into play. Oh, crap. I mean, multi-shot is good and all, but um, you get a few of these at once. Yeah, <laughs> the eight rounds comes in really handy, which makes this much better than the normal Detron. Not just visually, but actually in the gameplay. Wow, I can't believe I actually made that. Oh, come on, door, be open, be open, be open. It's open! Let's get the hell out of here, finally. I've been in this mission for 26 minutes. <laughs> it's just been non-stop running. Oh, no, you kidding me. <laughs> I wanted to kill him. I'm going back up there. I'm going to kill him. Hi. <laughs> Stuck back up. But, yeah, definitely a good weapon. Definitely worth it, if you can actually get it. As I say, it's a gun on Sunday. Possibly. They might extend it because you glitched out, but who knows? But uh, apparently, the stuff he sells will rotate. I was watching the live stream because I, I missed it, so I had to come back watch it again later. And they did say that the stuff that they sell will rotate. They just don't know when because he's going to sell a lot of really nice stuff. So it might be possible to get this weapon again. Why did it tell me to come over here when it's now telling me to go back over there? And better question, how do you get back over there? I don't have my melee weapon, I can't just... <laughs> wow, can't believe I made that. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.